Hello everybody, how are you? How are you doing? It's your math teacher Murad Sultan Zvidi. Today we will see, let's say, a new lecture, number sequence, arithmetic, arithmetic number sequence. Okay, today is 28, um, Monday 28, December 2020. Okay, the title of our, uh, our lecture is number sequence. Now we start. Here we have a definition. We can say that a sequence in which a constant d can be added to each term to get the next term is called what? It's called a, an arithmetic sequence. This d is called arithmetic sequence. The constant d is called the common difference. Okay? D is called what? The common difference. To find the common difference d, subtract any term from one that follows it. Okay? For example, here we have 2, 5, 8, 11, and 14. Okay, look here. 5 minus 2 is 3. 8 minus 5 is 3. 11 minus 8 is 3. 14 minus 11 is 3. So the common difference, in fact, is 3. Okay? This common difference d is called is equal to three. This is the first term is t one. The second term is five. Okay. Then the third term t three. This is eight. The fourth term is eleven, and the fifth term is fourteen. Okay. So I will like ask you a question. What is the common difference? Yes, for example, here 5 minus 2 gives what more learners gives 3. This is the term to term rule, or we'll just tell that we always add 3. But here in this lecture, we'll call it or label it as d, which is a common difference. Here, 8 minus 5 gives 3 also, and 11 minus 8 gives, of course, 3. 14 minus 11 gives us 3. This 3 is called what my learners call it the common difference. For an arithmetic sequence, there is a constant d is called common difference. When you subtract the fifth term from the sixth term or the fourth term from what from the, the third term and so on. For example, here my learners. This is 4, 9, 14, 19, 24. Then this is the first number sequence. This is the second term minus the first term, means 9 minus 4 is 5. Then A3 minus A2 means 14 minus 9 is 5. Then uh, the fourth term minus the third ter term is 19 minus 14 is 5, and so on. For the second term, my learners, here, to find the first term and the common difference for each arithmetic sequence. First of all, you can see this 4 is it's called the first term for the first sequence. And the common difference of this arithmetic sequence, my learners, is for example a2, which is 9, minus a1, which is the first term, 4. 9 and minus 4 gives us 5. This is the first term, we is 4. And the common difference is 5. For the second one, here we have the first term first for, for A. The first term is A, is 4. The, the common difference is D. It will be A2 minus A1 gives 9 minus 4 equal 5. For the second sequence, we have 34, 27, 20, 13, 6, minus 1, minus 8 and so on you can see that this arithmetic sequence is decreasing and keep decreasing okay means that you will subtract let's say an amount of something that we will calculate it which is the common difference first term I learn this is what is 34 and the common difference is for example a2 minus a1 or a3 minus a2 
or the fourth term minus the third term or and so on okay I will make minus yes the common difference is what is minus 8 minus minus 1 gives minus 8 plus 1 gives minus 7 be careful my student always check to make sure the difference in the in this same is the same between each term for example here 24 minus 19 is 5 19 minus 14 is 5 14 minus 9 is 5 9 minus 4 is 5 this is just called the common the common difference okay now we will try this yourself find the first term and the common difference of each of these arithmetic sequences look here this is the first sequence is 1 negative 4 negative 9 negative 14 the first term is what is 1 the common difference is the difference between two consecutive terms meaning this is 1 is t1 negative 4 let's say is the second term negative 9 is the third term negative 14 is the fourth term to get the common difference my learners make the second term minus the first term or make the third term minus the second term or my make the fourth term minus the third term and so on means that the first term my learners is one and the common difference is negative four minus one gives negative five for the second let's say sequence we have 11 plus 12 gives 23 plus 12 gives 35 plus 12 gives 47 and so on 11 is is, is 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 called as the first term the common difference is 23 minus 11 gives a 12 okay so here the first term is 1 and d the common difference is a2 minus a1 or t2 means second term minus t1 means first term negative 4 negative 1 equal negative 5 for the second sequence the first term is a is 11 and the common difference is a2 minus a1 equal 23 minus 11 equal 12. Now the first term of an arithmetic sequence is called a. We add d to get the next term. There is mean that there is a pattern. Therefore, there is a formula we can use to give to give or any term that we need without lists listing list without writing without writing down without listening the whole sequence for example here i will write 3 7 11 and 15 we know that a the first term is we label a the first term which is 3 and the common difference is 4 why because 7 minus 3 4 11 minus 7 4 15 minus 11 4 okay now t1 equal a equal 3 then t2 T2 is A plus D, the common difference, means plus 4 equals 7. T3 is A plus D plus D, it will be A plus 2D, okay, it will be 3 plus 2 times 4 equal 11. Then you can see that this is T3, it will be A plus 3 minus 1 all multiplied by D. We can, let's say, now generalize for the nth term of of this arithmetic sequence we can write tn equal a plus n minus 1 all multiplied by d okay then t4 equal a plus d plus d plus d equal a plus 3d equal 15 and so on now we have the first term of arithmetic sequence is a then we add d to get the next term there is a pattern so you can use a formula it means that there is a formula okay look here the nth term of an arithmetic sequence is given by tn equal a plus n minus 1 all multiplied by d a my learners is tn is denotes the nth term a the first term of your arithmetic sequence then d is the common difference so if you would like to use this formula of this arithmetic sequence will be tn equal a the first term plus n minus 1 into parentheses multiplied by the common difference okay this is the call it what the last different in the sequence or the, the uh, you are looking 
okay the last term in the sequence this is the last term in the sequence or the term that you are looking for then this is the first term then this is n okay we say the position the term is in the position of the term what is it exactly and d the common difference this is the formula in order to work out the nth term of any arithmetic sequence you need the first term and the difference between two consecutive terms then you can write the nth term of your sequence here 4 plus 14 minus 1 all multiplied by 3 you are going to look for the term then it will be 4 plus 13 multiplied by 3 it will be 4 plus 39 it will be 43 here we are give some examples find the 14th term of the arithmetic sequence this is the arithmetic sequence the first term my learning is 4 the common difference is 7 minus 4 is 3 so I will write 4 I'm looking for the 14th term so I'll make 14 minus 1 here then I'll multiply by the common difference 3 is the common difference 4 is what is the first term then I will apply the formula I will get 43 minus this is the nth term is a plus n minus 1 all multiplied by d the a is what a4 n minus 1 here is 14 because you are going to work out the 14th term and the d is the common difference this is t4 equal 4 plus 14 minus 1 14 minus 1 is 13 multiply by, by the common difference it would be 3 so 4 plus 13 by 3 is 39 it will be 43 the 14th term in the sequence is the number 43 okay here we have also three examples okay here we have uh, 1 7 13 19 the first term is 1 then the, the common difference is 7 minus 1 is 6 in order to write down the nth term of any sequence of this arithmetic sequence, I will write tn equal a plus n minus 1, all multiplied by d. Give us what? d is what? Because you are going to work out what? Mm -hmm. d, the common, common difference is 6. So it will be 1 plus n minus 1 multiplied by 6. Give us 1 plus 6, n minus 6. So the tn, the nth term of the sequence is 6n minus 1. Then just in order to work out the, let's say, uh, the 10th term, just make 6 multiplied by 10 minus 5, it will be 55. The, 25, the 25th term is 6, because we use this formula, multiply by n is 25, minus 5 gives 144. So, uh, thank you for listening, my learners, thank you for being uh, good learner okay